those who are sitting at the back, please come and occupy the front seats. Please. Those who are sitting at the back, please come forward. Please come forward. Philosophically, 
spiritually, religiously. Shrimati Ramana Jaya We are well aware that today we have taken the topic of India Century Mission. So the name itself gives a clear idea that it is going to bring a wide, deep impact as well as a transformation which is not only within the country but from the country to the various parts of the globe. By saying there are a lot of words which are for comfort, which are for consolation, which are just for boosting the person's capability and performance, a lot of things are don't uh, just explained in the Shastras and exposed by people in their speeches. Like you are having all infinite potential inside, do everything, achieve success. These things are very potential words. But unless they reflect in capable personalities and receptacles, these words are just boosters and they don't become uh, the sense of uh, fructification unless it is executed by a capable person. So likewise, if you start that it is India's century mission, as it has been told already by great saints and seers before several decades or even centuries or even millenniums in various records. And what it has created as its influence in the society and how many people they have come forward and what is the gravity of their impact and contribution to society in bringing India century. So this is the thing. Already it has been told by somebody before several decades and we are repeating the same. And what is the gap between these uh, two recitations or their attainment or injunction and what we are really going to achieve? This India century mission is not a myth, it is not a mystery, it is not a miracle. Something without anybody's contribution, it is not going to bud in a dusk and blossom in a dawn. And it is not also a myth as it is considered by somebody taking into account the geopolitical exposures and variations that we observe now. It is not also a mystery for it is obvious that we have records of our historical pride and greatness which can be incessantly maintained in the society with a renaissance. So it is neither a myth, nor a mystery, nor a miracle. It requires a mega project as well as with a master plan. So it is a mega project because it includes the transformation of millions of people. It requires the influence of thousands and thousands of volunteers, think tanks, executors, etc. So it is an organizational building which is a mega plan, which is a mega project and it requires also some time, dedication, energy, risk and financial resources and whatever that is required for a political institution or academic institution or social institutions. Likewise, it must be well organized and practically implemented. So here, we have to go through the previous history. We are having the empty Asafotida. We used to have a lot of these Asafotida bags and Asafotida blankets and pockets in which we used to have the residue of the smell, the fragrance that existed in the content earlier. Likewise, the historical pride of us, no doubt, that is real, that is not based on mere exaggerations or misinterpretations or self appraisal They do have reality, but what is the practical possibility of bringing the same thing in that? When compared to that of uh, the other civilizations, which are there in mathematics, uh, trade, navigation, socialization, construction technology, moral ethics, architecture, etc. Few civilizations to name that the Arabics and as well as the Greek civilization, as well as the Chinese, they are said to be the inventors of various things and even the greatest inventions or their contributions are nothing but as per the proclamation of talented seers and historians of reality and genuinity, they have attributed even those contributions as a contribution of their indic annexure or connectivity through invasion, trade and migrations. So such is the greatness of our India that is a historical pride. That historical pride that must be brought into real practical views and there are some problems which we want to just notify here and how to eradicate those things and to create a vitalized society will be the theme of the speech. And the third thing is, there is dharma you know. Dharma dharayati prajaha, dharana dharma yitya It has been told that dharma is the eternal...